Hey, welcome back. All right, so now that we are done with the top part here, we will need to deal with the logo. But uh, for now, let's wait a little bit longer and deal with the slider. Okay, so we want to be able to change these images here at will, edit them or delete if we want to. So what we need to do is to examine this slider a little bit and see exactly how it's working. Now we've got three dots here. So once we click on one dot, we go to a particular banner and we can also use this left and right to go around it. So right now it's got three images. So I need to study if this is one whole image or not, but the fact that I can select the text here tells me that this is actual text and is not part of the image. And this is a button there. But then if I do control A to select everything, now I can clearly see the borders of this particular image right here. So there's an image here, there's uh, some text here and there, and then there's a button. So it's safe to say this is the format for every single one of these on the slider. Okay, so we are simply going to need to save this text, that text, and then this one here, and then probably a link that will take the button somewhere where they need to go, and then an actual image. Okay, so pretty good. Now, the best thing to do is to create a, uh, a table for this thing. But before we do that, let's examine it a little bit further. So this is the home page. Let me go to my text editor. And then I'm going to go to app. So we go to the app folder, views, and then right here on the index page, this is the main view. We have this section just after the header, we have this section called slider here. So it starts from here. Now let's move down here and you can see this is where the slider ends and then section ends there. So it might be a good idea to actually uh, simply, to simply move the slider elsewhere. So I'm going to select this entire section for the slider and I'm going to cut it out. So I'm going to cut that and then create a new file right inside eShop here. Right click, new file, paste, save that file. So I'm going to save that one as uh, slider.php. Not to be mistaken with sidebar. So slider.php, save. Okay, so we have a slider there. Now, all I need to do is duplicate this header thing at the top here, just move it down a bit. And then instead of header, I'm going to change that to slider. Now I can easily load back the slider. So if I refresh, I'm not supposed to see a difference. Okay, so the fact that we haven't seen a difference means everything is working fine. But let's go back now and examine our slider a little bit more. So slider.php is here now. All right, let me select all, shift tab to move it one tab backward. All right, so what's going on here? So as you can see here, there's a list of items here. So I'm guessing this is the uh, carousel indicators. Okay, so I'm guessing these ones uh, these dots down here because I have seen down here there are links oh not even there no 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 not that girl pricing okay why are there two images here I have no idea okay so I've seen there's the previous button and the next button here which contains uh, control carousel yes so these are the two buttons for left and right down here and then if you zoom out a bit you're going to notice a pattern here you see there's a pattern here 
there and there so which means that this div uh, not that div this one here contains items for one image and then this next one contains for the second and then the third here so what I want to see is if I add a fourth is it going to notice that so I'm going to press ctrl shift D to duplicate the very last one and so I've duplicated everything here so now we have one two three four okay so now we have four instead of three so let's refresh our page and see if it's going to notice so obviously these dots have not increased now if I click I go to number two number three let's see if we'll go to number four and no oh it seems we did go to number four let me come back here for a second okay so this last one is repeating here very good but we just don't have an indicator for it so let me come down here and duplicate this last one here and then since it's got numbers zero one two let's change that to three now I just want to make sure that these numbers are not corresponding to any divs down here so that I can change the links so column six column six or obviously that's just for styling nothing to do with the JavaScript okay so I think uh, it's safe to say there is nothing to tie these numbers to the divs down here so I'll leave it at that so once we've duplicated change the number let's go back here for a second refresh and now we have four dots down here so if I click on one of these it's actually working so I'll click number three All right so this is good news it means we can put as many images as we want on this slider without a problem okay so now that we have that let's go back for another final examination so here there's a uh, one header which has eShop so let me just try and put a word like I don't know Josh or something like that e Josh and let me see what that does okay so there we go so that is edited let me remove that all right so we'll have a line for we'll have a column for this header and then we'll have a column for the second header and then this is some text that we would want to put in there mm -hmm. I see, I see, I see. Mm -hmm. So that's some text in there in that column. And then we will have a link, get it now for the button there. And then what is this though? Let me see here. How come there are two images here that I cannot see? Let me inspect the element. I'm looking for this pricing here. This girl and then this pricing there. So I just want to see what that image is. So I'm going to right click and inspect the element. Click here in this column. And then these get it now. Let's click here. And then these column get it now column here uh -huh. and there we go so there's the girl this is not the right uh, one let me keep clicking until I find the one that responds okay so now if I click here oh so you see there's actually an image at the top here which shows the pricing uh -huh. very nice very nice very nice okay so now the issue here is um, this is a, a separate image on the top here which contains the price so we'll have to figure out um, there should be another image for the pricing there I guess if that's what you want or you can ignore it if uh, if you don't want to put it there let me come back here for a second and let me delete this image and let's see how it will look like on the first one if we delete the image so refresh and there you see there is no pricing image yet okay so it's entirely up to you if you want to put those prices on the items or you can simply uh, load an image which already has the pricing on it 
to avoid having to put that there. So nevertheless, I'm going to put provision for two images, which are this one and that one. Okay, so so far we've gathered enough information to create a table for this carousel right here because we're going to need a, uh, let me come here and let's create a notepad here. So the first column we need is the ID, of course. And then we're going to have the uh, H1. I don't know what we can call it. Maybe we can call it H1 as a column and then H2, or maybe we can use header like that, header one or header underscore one that's entirely up to you header two and then uh, text or message that's up to you and then link and then what else do we need then we need an image okay now since there are two images we're going to have image two as well and uh, i think that does it because we don't need a date for this but we may need to disable one of the images without having to delete it. So I'm going to say disabled like that, just so we can tick whether it's enabled or disabled. And I think that does it. All right, then. All right, so let's go back here to our table, each shop, and prepare to create one of these. So create a new table. All right, so let's do this in the next video.